while Yuna has managed to take out Kamikaze. Great nade. Where was that even from? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know where that nade came from, man. I can tell you where that grenade came from. This was just too good not to do a comeback for. With the Rainbow Six Siege Invitational underway, I put together some of the best tips and tricks that can help you win more matches in Rainbow Six Siege from the matches played during the first day of the group stage in the Invitational. You can find the timestamps in the description if you want to skip a tip and I will always try to get in both more advanced and some more simpler tips to make sure that everybody can learn something new from the clip. If you find any of these tips useful, please leave a like as I really appreciate it. It's not fully embraced by Pro League, but it is certainly a viable strat that we see often. Phaser, uh, by the way, right off the bat here, this is pretty easy to tell. Ninjas and Pajamas had a much more efficient attack strategy every single round in the last half. So far right here, while Yuna has managed to take out Kamikaze, great nade, where was that even from? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know where that nade came from, man. It looked, he was positioned, looks like it's on the roof, so... Oh, wow. It was through the skylight and he arced it from the other side of the roof. What? That is crazy. Look at that. That is a great toss. That is a very impressive toss. And that is that is FaZe's solution to bandit tricking on, on trophy statuary. You got to say that <laughs> that's one of those things that you don't show anyone in the regular season. You wait till it matters and... Oh boy, it doesn't matter here. I bet you Nip don't even know where that nade came from. Very impressive there from FaZe to find it, land it, and now they're going to easily be able to open up that master wall, which you can see has already happened. This is one of the most impressive grenades I've ever seen in this game. So you see here, he's up on the roof at Villa. You see how I align my sight up towards the, the clouds, and you just throw it. You don't really need to cook it or anything. You could cook it a, a little bit if you want to. But I'll show you how this grenade lands. This one on the other side is an earlier attempt. So in there it lands. So located a bomb. if you have a bandit or mute sitting here waiting in this corner to do his band trick, he will get killed by that grenade. And you see it comes down perfectly through the skylight and lands exactly where he's sitting. He has no time to react and he's just gone. That's a perfect grenade from underneath if the uh, defender or rather attackers don't clear out underneath. If not, he can still call out a lot of information on the push. That is a ballsy cam there from Bobby and actually might have landed on the trash bags. That could go undetected. There's no IQ right now on the attacking team. But as I was rounding out the defenders here, Jaeger catches those grenades and of course that is oh so important. It doesn't even get spotted. Sitting in the trash bag. And Bobby is just gonna go for a run out. Almost Defender losing it though. Envy Taylor, a great flick. Fabian gets away with just a tiny bit of HP, but he's in a perfect spot to get a reset. Very fast, very effective killer from Fabian, even though he got tagged pretty well. It's pretty easy, just open up the door from the garage. You go here. You have entered enemy a bit controlled area. Above this, Leave now. Your this location line here. has been compromised. This way it lands here. So when when he's pushing from here, as you can see, he sees it's very late. But if, if, for example, if he lands just like this, it will be much easier for him to spot this one. But since it's back there, unless he's looking to his left, and why should he? It's very hard to see that one when you're running. And when he repels up here, he is easy kill for Fabian, who runs out from the garage. Corrected the course, and they figured out how to do this map as well, at least on the attacking side. Now, I'm sure, given time and a few rounds, a few stumbles, G2 will figure out how to defend it as well. Kento Ricchetti sees the Jackal, but cannot land all the shots. Envy Taylor surviving with 50% of his HP as Kanto will head back inside. It's been kind of deleted without much of a chance to respond. Following that up, we saw the rest of EG push in confidently as well. So this is how this looks for the attackers. When they push off the ruins here in the spawn, you can't see that anything is off with that door. Everything looks perfectly normal. Whatever angle that you're trying to look at, it looks normal. But it's very hard to see unless you know that you're gonna do this. See, this is a hole in the in the door. So it's a bit... You sometimes get stuck a bit when you're trying to get through. But it works as you can see. So what you wanna do as the defender is 
to move twice. And use your weapon to shoot it out. Not, you have not an enemy three times the door it will break, now. of course. So you snuck twice, then use your pistol to open it up. This way you can you get be through. If you you can shoot your people now. This tactic to open doors just a bit also works on other objectives. For example here. You can go out and keep a good angle of people repelling out on the big tower and easy get back. And as you can see, when repelling here, those trash cans are hiding very well. You need to get up pretty high before you actually see the, the big hole. But by this time you're already dead, so very cheeky to, to peek out there behind the trash cans and try to get some picks when you know, for example, if you have Valkyrie cam, so you know that they're repelling the big tower. All of your information, now keep in mind that Valk and Echo are both banned, and it doesn't look like a Maestro was a very comfortable pick for Mantis, especially not in that previous round at all. No, I mean, I think, I think it's the right pick, but I don't, you're, I think you're right as well that it wasn't a comfortable pick. Because it did, it did not work out very well. Kendra Kenny with an aggressive play into Kitchen, but he's spotted out by the pulse sensor. But oh, what an ash charge! That's gonna catch one person off guard. Hetty goes down without a fight. Poor positioning there from the alibi, and an easy frag for Kendra Kenny. And the what? diffuser is being Excuse planted me. in default spot right now. The diffuser going down. Kendra Kenny acting as a decoy, and the diffuser is on the floor, ticking away. This was an absolute beautiful round from G2 where they got the bomb down in no time. And a lot of that was Cantor Keta here playing as Ash, who immediately took Kitchen and cleared the only defender who held the objective. So most likely he had a teammate to order the drone the kitchen from, so he just run straight in, went in here, shoot a bridge in charge, and then as soon as he got an opening, he shot the unsuspected t uh, enemy. This way, the key is push in from here and just plant inside Sunrise without having anyone to contest them and to won the round in absolute no time. So, very smart to take the kitchen as soon as he did with the help of his teammate who droned it for him, opening up this wall because a lot of the time you have Defender sitting here when you have Sunrise. For example, this. This setup, they have a wall reinforced here and they have openings on both sides so they can play on both sides and of course keep Sunrise. But with this huge opening here, he was totally exposed and even if Kendra Caddy shouldn't have gotten the pick on him, with this big hole here, open to the hallway and, and everywhere here, he, he could not have stayed here. So he had to leave this position even if Kendra Caddy wouldn't have killed him. So. Very smart and very aggressive play from G2. Oh, Fama though, gonna find Young in the process, and that will be the Habana, even though the Habana pellets have already went off. Alfama with a late mirror window will go up, and now he can contest both the window and the closet. I like this though, because there's been a good variance of hallway pushes in addition to bedroom pushes onto this site, so I'm kind of a fan of leaving the second mirror until later oh. on in the round, because now you get the intel like this, now that you know the push is coming from that way. Drops the diffuser, big key part of this, he already knows where a second player is going to be inside of Master Bathroom now, so he's got more intel going over to his teammates. It's all just about finding that one last uh, So this was a setup that had, at the beginning of the round, you have two reinforce and you have a mirror window right here when they attack the Master Bedroom. And what happened, they had Hibana, so they blew up a hole both for this window and one more here. So he had saved this other window and he placed it crouching down on this non-reinforced wall. By doing this, he had a very good angle uh, to the both the window and, and the closet. And the good thing here is that this ledge here protects him from the window. So they can't shoot him even though this is not a reinforced wall. From close, they can still shoot him, but it's still a very smart position to get very good intel. And he also has very close to this flank to cover himself. Here you can see how it looks for attackers. And as you can see, they can get a little bit on him below the window here. But most of him below here, this ledge covers him. Psycho again, one of those nutty shots that Ninjas of Pajamas have. Just one of many though, along with Pino and Julio. I mean, to be honest, all of them. He's going to be the entry frag because of that. 
No soft destruction from below. The box is going to be going for the nade instead to clear out the bar, or sorry, rather, bandit batteries. And he will do just that. Already three gone with one grenade. That's great efficiency. Doesn't look like the bandit's going to trick. He might nade just in case, and he will. C4 misses there, and Psycho does not. Excellent grenade. Good prediction there. Moringa trying to go in. Looks like possibly to mute juggle, but he was too late anyway, and the grenade will punish FaZe, putting them in a tricky spot here. Ninja Pajamas, because they're allowed to focus just on the master take, have great control. This is a pretty straightforward one, but it has some fine details that I want to show you. When you're pushing through master bedroom here, this wall will always be reinforced when pushing this objective, and you will have bandit or mute back here. So, what they did is, what you normally do, you take one grenade here, you cook it, and you throw it over there so it drops down right behind here. So. You get both the bandit charge, mute jammers, and you take out bandit if you're sitting there. What they did this time, first you had the flashbangs, two of them. That's partly to make sure there's no ADS taking out the frag grenade. And also it gets some extra time for the Hibana charges as you might flash bandit or mute back here. Right after that, he sent over the grenade, removed all the bandit charge from the wall. Then, when they knew that Bandit or Mute was gonna come back to try to trick them, he pulled out his nade several times, so it sounded like he was gonna throw it, and faked it a couple of times uh, to bait him out, and then he threw it perfectly and got the kill, and they could open up this wall. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you don't already do, hit subscribe. And also, a very special thanks to all of you guys who's been around since my earlier videos. I know that I've been gone for a long time, but my life situation looks a lot different now and I have much more time for YouTube. I spend many many hours on every single video, and I didn't want to put up some videos that wasn't as good as it could be and just waste your time. But now I have more time and I'm back doing new videos for you guys. I really appreciate you still sticking around. But that's all for now, so I'll see you next time.